Hello everyone, my name is Eric and we are going to be exploring some of the new releases and cigar news that is happening in the industry. You are watching Oakland Tobacconist. If you're interested in the brand spanking new Supreme Leaf by Aganorsa Leaf, which is going rather quickly, or several other releases that will be coming to OGT, make certain that you follow us on social media and check us out because you know where to find us. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so that you are alerted every time we produce new content. As you might have noticed, I am wearing the OGT hat. This is available, so check that out. If you're watching this video, currently Oakland Tobacconist is at PCA Trade Show. And this happens once a year. It happened a little bit earlier this year. They moved it from the summertime until March, but we are currently there. And I wanted to kind of give you the heads up, the insider's idea of what the PCA trade show is and what you can look forward to if you're a cigar smoker. If you enjoy cigars, you're probably like a lot of consumers out there saying, what is new? Even retailer shops like myself will visit certain companies and say, hey, love this product. This one's one of my favorites, but also, What's new? That's always the coming question is, is there something on the horizon? And I'm happy to say there are a lot of awesome cigars that are coming from all the favorite manufacturers, and hopefully you'll be seeing them at Oakland Tobacconist. The PCA trade show is the industry trade show. So manufacturers, retailers, media all get together to smoke great cigars and check out what's new. So I want to deliver some of that to you. Now, we may be having some videos and interviews on TikTok, on Instagram, on Facebook, all those types of things uh, with manufacturers while we're on the show floor. However, I want to give you kind of an insider scoop of what we are looking forward to and the new stuff that we know of coming out. First off, I want to give you a snapshot into Black Label Trading Company. Black Label Trading Company and Blackwork Studio, they're a part of like a bigger umbrella of Oveja Negra brands. Underneath, there's also House of Emilio, and there's also Dissident Cigars. I'm very excited for the new releases that we have heard of, even check out our blog on some of these, but some of the new products that are gonna be released at the trade show, and then you'll be seeing come to Oakland Tobacconist. So let's start with Blackwork Studio. Blackwork Studio is set to release their Paper Crane. And it's very unique because it has a Connecticut Desflorado wrapper. And what that means is that you take the tobacco plant and you top it, you cut off the top where the flower is to create energy, all the nutrients and energy of the plant going to the leaves themselves to amp up that Connecticut tobacco, fuller in flavor. I'm really looking forward to this. The popularity of Porcelain and Killer Bee are overwhelming in their portfolio. I think this limited release is going to be something really, really special. So keep your eye out for Paper Crane, which I believe will be shipping soon after the trade show. Cannot wait for the cigar. But also there's a cigar called the Orthodox, and that is a San Andreas Maduro, and Orthodox is coming as a PCA trade show exclusive, meaning if you go to the show, you have access to that cigar. If you don't, I'm sorry, it might not be available. And so Orthodox, as I understand, is returning to the black label route, strong, powerful, bold. This is a cigar that I'm very much looking forward to as well. Back-to-back -back limited releases from Black Works and Black Label. Cannot wait. It's one of my favorite brands out there, and James Brown, owner and blender, always delivers in terms of flavor, strength, overall profile. Next, I also want to highlight a brand new duo coming from Foundation Cigars. The original Wewense and Foundation, as I said in a previous video and in our article, unfortunately, is no longer being produced. It was made at the Aganorsa factory, and now it's going to be replaced by the two new Wiseman Corojo and Wiseman Maduro. These are being produced at the My Father Garcia factory in Nicaragua. It's going to be a change up, but I also think with the reputation that my father has and Foundation Cigars have, them working together, I think it's going to be a match made in heaven. So excited to see that happen with the PCA, and that will be coming soon after. Along with that is Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust. Steve Saka always rocks the PCA world when it comes to many different releases, and this year doesn't seem much different. There's a whole host of new things he's got out, but several have my interest in particular. One is the hashtag GFY, which is uh, a Lancero collection, a whole host of Moisture de Saka Lanceros. This is a very limited like project, and for those who are Dunbarton enthusiasts, for those who are tobacco enthusiasts and Lancero enthusiasts, this is going to be right up your alley. As I understand, it's a very limited project. So, Oakland Tobacconists is trying to get, to get their hands on that Lancero pack. Multiple different blends within that box, but it looks really awesome. I would also say he's coming out with the 
Brule Wagashi. This was originally a Cigar Dojo exclusive release. It is the Brule Blue, but it's sort of amped up a little bit, as I understand. Wagashi is that type of Connecticut that you want that just encompasses the palate, but at the same time maintaining a more mild to medium smooth palate. Those two releases in particular, I'm very much looking forward to with Dunbarton, as well as their new bronze back. They have a new Umbagog coming out with a different, like, spicier wrapper, as he puts it, but it's also something I can't wait for. Also, if you're a fan of El Porpo Cigars, there are two new blends coming from that company, which is the Viva La Vida, Jester 5th Anniversary, and Club 500 Anniversary. Both very interesting Vitolas. The Club 500 is almost like a, like a flying pig size, whereas the Jester is like a flat bellicoso, as they call it. Those are with a different wrapper leaf around that Viva La Vida blend. So, super excited about those. Keep your eye out for that. It's gonna be really interesting. I love Pulpo, I love Viva La Vida, so having a Maduro version, I think is gonna be pretty awesome. There's also Crown Heads. It's a Habano Maduro duo, and one is made in the DR, the other is made in Nicaragua. And that is the Coroneta duo. One is a Maduro, one is a Habano, made at two different factories, but kind of put together. If there's anything I've learned about Crown Heads, they continue to put out these like interesting, intricate, full and flavor projects, and I'm very much looking forward to those. We also have Warhead 10 and Knuckle Sandwich Chef Special 2024 using both Connecticut Broadleaf tobacco. This is coming from Espinosa. If there's anything I've learned, that Warhead is a fantastic cigar. I absolutely love it. As well as the Chef Special is always something interesting and different. The Knuckle Sandwich like Trio is legendary when it comes to Espinosa cigars. So I'm very much looking forward to those new releases. I can continue to go on and on about a whole host of new ones. But we're really excited to be at the show floor to try to get some of these products in for OGT for all of you to try. If there's any I did not mention that you're very interested in, drop down in the comments. What are you most looking forward to in terms of new blends or new releases or even new brands that might be at the trade show? I would love to know your opinion. Also, join OGT Cigar Society if it's not completely full yet. The Blind Bunny Pack is being mailed out. As usual, thank you for all your support. We will see you next time on Oakland Tobacconist.